What's up, bros and hoes? It's your boy Grizzly here, bringing you a free for all commentary. Mono for three with the AC motherfucking R. Yeah. This commentary, I'm going to be talking about something pretty badass that I'm sure a lot of you might want to see, and maybe some, some of you already saw it. Uh, last night, I went to see Act of Valor, or Act of Valor, whatever one you want to say. You know, I went to see it in movie theaters with my friends, and it was a fucking awesome movie. Like, I was pumped. I knew it was going to be good because of all the commercials, but they didn't advertise it too much, which was, you know, kind of unusual. But I'm glad that, uh... You know, for a long time they haven't made a good war movie for a while, so they actually did one now, and it was it was fucking awesome. Like I recommend anyone seeing it. It was the coolest movie ever. Some people didn't like it. They said it was um like overrated, I guess you can say, but I disagree. Like I guess it wasn't as great as what I thought, but I kind of have high expectations for movies, so it was pretty badass. I mean, the movie was fucking realistic. And there's people like jumping out tra- uh, not trains, fucking planes, shooting bitches up, and it was like realistic, and it wasn't one of those like, you know, not enough action, there was plenty of action. I felt like the movie could have been maybe a little bit longer for the story, but it was, it was pretty badass. Like, like the beginning scene, like the first where they start shooting and shit. Like, that was fucking amazing. Like, the sniper kept on like just fucking headshotting every motherfucker out there, and he just I don't know, it was just a great-ass movie. Me and uh, two of my friends went, Derek and Ginger. Sorry, I called you Ginger. We went and um, we weren't we weren't actually going to go yesterday. It came out on Friday. And, the like, the, like, the story mode of the movie was, like, these two... Like, there's no actors in the movie, like, which was kind of cool that it wasn't, like, played by, like, Mark Wahlberg or anything. There was no actors. There was actual Navy SEALs. So that made it a little more realistic because it was actually stories that happened. And basically the whole point of the movie is, like, it's this group of friends, pretty much group of friends, that, you know, they have their normal lives back home, but they also, like, Navy SEALs and all that, and they do, like, the tough jobs. Like, they go to Africa to take out these bitches. They go to fucking uh, India or whatever hell, uh, Costa Rica, I think it is, and they're, like, you know, they actually get into action, while nowadays it seems like, you know, there's not really action, they just kind of, you know, walk around and shit, because wars are kind of dying down, but this kind of gets really in-depth, in-depth, uh, with all the action and killing, but then it also has their family, um, separated on the side, so it kind of got pretty sad, like, you know, if you want, like, a war movie, sometimes you just want it all action, but I like this one because it also had, like, the whole family parts, and, you know, the reason they're fighting, and... All that stuff. I mean, the movie started off great. It got really interesting uh, in the middle of it. Obviously, that happens in movies. And it seemed like they were just jump jumping out of planes a lot. It was like every other scene they were jumping out of planes. And I think the coolest guy was a sniper in that movie because, I don't know, he's just badass. And then, like, the, the main guy ended up getting shot. I mean, he didn't get shot. He got blew up by a grenade. But then I thought he, like, survived. Like, it showed his eyes opening. But then the next scene was his funeral. And that was kind of sad. And then that was actually the end of the movie. Probably the best fight scene. Or not the fight scene. But the, probably the best. Um, uh, like, I guess you can say fight scene. It was like at the beginning when they broke down in this village. To rescue rescue this like doctor bitch from Mexico. Because she was like finding drugs or children or whatever. Like I don't know. They were playing soccer. Whatever the fuck that means. If you whatever and they had to go find her and get her back whatever because she was kidnapped and like the sniper just kept on taking off bitches he had like fucking five kills in like like 12 seconds and it's all sneaky and kind of, kind of scared me like they were like swimming underwater and shit and they just like popped up and you wouldn't even notice that they were there and then subdue got his eyes shot off and that was pretty scary and then the girl like the girl that they had to go find she was beat to shit like they fucking raped her they smacked her a few times she can take a punch like half her face was like okay and the other half was like fucked up so the dude must have been like right handed just like bitch slapping this cunt so i don't know it was it was a great movie and i recommend anyone seeing it afterwards um me and my friends we went to walmart well first we went to mcdonald's and we went to walmart and that was that was pretty funny my friends are kind of retarded and loud so they would like yell in walmart whatever i had to go to walmart i had to pick up some stuff 
and they were just Jesus fuck. I'm surprised we didn't get kicked out. Like one of the workers would be right there. This is at like 11 o'clock, and they're just yelling and screaming. Um, like you know the clothes section, like obviously where all the clothes are. My friend came like walking through there, and I like ducked a little bit, and I kind of like crawled like over to him, and he didn't even see me. So I popped up and I um, scared him. And then when I did, I pretended to knife him. I was like, act the valor. And I whispered that. And then he fucking screamed and it looked like he was going to punch me in fucking Walmart. And then me and my friend, like, we were walking and I had this, like, the stuff I was holding. And, like, he was going to trip me, like, kick me. And, like, you know what you do, like, when you're walking behind your friends. And then, yeah, so I kind of leaped away and jumped. But then he ended up kicking me, so I fell down. It was it was a pretty fun night, and then we got these laser pointers, and then we're like shining them on my friends, like while he was driving, cause he was being really fucking. I had a fucking um, what do you call those? A migraine earlier that day, and they knew that, cause I told them, cause I'm stupid. You shouldn't tell your friends that, cause they'll obviously do something, cause they want you to get it back, cause they're your best friends, and so they started yelling in my ears and fucking slapping my head and shit like that. But someday I'll get them back. Someday I'll post a commentary posting a picture of one of them and you can make fun of them or some shit like that. Uh, this video is coming to an end. Hope you guys liked it. Go see that movie, Act of Valor. It's still out. It's a badass fucking movie. Lots of action. Talk to you guys later. Peace.